Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of my playthrough of Pokemon Coliseum. Now before I was going to do this next part, I was going to give Suicune a nickname, but however, I'm pretty sure you can't do that for Shadow Pokemon, so Suicune will not be getting a nickname until it is purified. This may take a while. But it'll be interesting to have a Shadow Pokemon on the team, mix things up a little. Right, so if I recall correctly, now we can go to the Shadow Pokemon Lab, and it's not called Mystery Lab anymore, it's called Shadow Pokemon Lab, because now we know about it. This is where the Shadow Pokemon were manufactured. So there's a key slot, and that key that they hope just left on lying on the ground in the lab, that'll come in handy. We now have access. Sweet. Let's keep on the moon and Suicune out at the moment. And... Hmm, I'm just pretty sure there's another item around the edge of this place. There's that item there. Well, is there not another item around the edge? I suppose there's an interior item around here somewhere. Is it? Oh, it's this corner. Full heal, two full heals, they'll come in handy. So I'm using full heals instead of the various different healing things now. Pretty sure if you try to come in here, you can't because it's locked. Card key is needed to open this door. There's a key slot. Can't use the main gate key either, I don't think. Oh, well, the main gate key is consumed when you use it. That's interesting. Some weird computers? Here's a shot switch. Press it. Press the switch. Oh, that opens that. I didn't even know that. I thought we could have just walked in there. Good thing I went in here then, wasn't it? Forgot you had to do that. But we should be able to get the thing in here. Have a quick save. I haven't done much, but... They put a computer here, I'm going to use it. So two minutes of playtime. Right. Who do we want? Let's have a little go of Ampharos and Suicune. And give Noctowl the experience share. Because he needs, he needs the most experience. I kind of need to fight with Suicune a lot because that will purify it. But also I don't want it to get ridiculously ahead in, ahead in levels so we might just have someone constantly holding on to that experience share. So Suicune only gets a quarter of the experience rather than half. Actually, they might just get half. They might, they might just both um, get full experience, but now they just both get half. This is discrimination. Why did they single me out for all these extra assignments? There's still packing left to move out of this lab. Grumble. What? 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 Who are you? You're suspicious. Therefore, you must be intruders. How do I look suspicious? I feel like it's a bit of discrimination now, I'm just wearing my blue lab coat. Oh my, two vault orbs. Self-destruct incoming! Oh god, we've got bad Pokemon to fight these with. Oh, it makes a net effect when you send out a Pokemon. Has it been doing that all the time? I'm not sure. Um, Teddy Tubby's going to be kind of useless to this fight, so let's bring out... Espeon. Triclops and spring away Suicune because it's a water type and water type does not appreciate being thundered. And Entei as well. Had like the worst lineup to fight these people with. Anyway, Telly Dummy. Bring out Espeon, Triclops. I'll eventually call it Triclops, it's called SP on the moment. Yeah, but you just used Spark on Entei, which is probably what Suicune was, and that used Spark as well. Yeah, Suicune would have took a lot of damage there. And I kind of need to bring my Ampharos because it wasn't going to do any damage. It wouldn't take any damage, it wouldn't do any damage either. And I'm an impatient man. Psybeam and Fire Blast, whichever hits first. 
Blah, critical hit. Yeah, one hit. Got a heavy batters here. I hope not all the po like all the trainers here use electric Pokemon. This is gonna be very bad if I'm gonna have to rely on Speedcoon and Ampharos to gain some experience. Because Ampharos doesn't actually have any moves besides electric moves at the moment that can do damage. Which is a big problem, and we need to replace that Thunder Shock as soon as possible when we actually get a move. What did I do to deserve this? Bah! I'll make you regret seeing me. Ooh. Card key. Oh, that's the card key. We can now get into the lab. That's useful information. Didn't take that much effort to get the card key, did it? And there's that item, and there's the massive hole that got blown in the ground. Three elixirs? Aren't they just um, things that restore your... Oh wait, nope. Restore... Oh, it's a better version of Ether. Okay. Restores the PP of all moves by 10. I haven't had problems with PP yet, so as much as I've had problems with health, but... Yeah, it could come in handy. For like long drawn out multi battles. If there are those. I'd like my executive access to the lab, please, because this is the third time someone's dropped their key, which I'm very thankful for. Everything seems text based here, or techno. It is a lab, so I guess it's gonna. It's got like a reception with them chairs there. We can go right. Doesn't appear to open from this side, so that's probably our escape route. What happens if we go down? Uh, he's probably going to have electric Pokemon again. Let's have something else rather than Amp Rose out for the sake of. We're probably going to be up against electric Pokemon. We'll switch Sweeping out if we have to. Okay, we can dump this data. Let's see now. What? Quit annoying me. You better get ready for Master Ian, Wolf. Huh? Ah! You too. You're not lab staff. He's searching left code. Yep. That's like all scientists are only allowed to use electric type Pokemon. Because that's sciencey. None of this like crazy psychic business. Alright, kill the hmm. Kill the Magnemite and kill the Magnemite. And then kill the Magnemite a little bit more after that. Critical hit, always nice. It wasn't very effective, but the critical hit probably made up for that. It's still type resistant to Psychic, I didn't know that. I guess sometimes we listen to a lot of things. Speaking some hyper mode, I might take advantage of this. This is gonna happen. Yeah, speaking didn't take much damage, but took more than I would wish. Right, Saibi the Chinchow and Crit Shadow Rush the Electric. Damn it! Good thing I've used up the crit shadow damage on the electric at least. Because that would have been a waste to do a tiny bit of damage to that thing. And then we can call Suicune and probably put Suicune away for a couple of battles. Because it's getting a bit hurt up. So finish it off with the side beam and call Suicune. And then side beam. The instant death. Bowing. There's one thing Espeon's good at, it's killing things. Which is why I shouldn't be using. Tricops. 
I should be calling Esper on Triclops at Hamlet. What's this? I don't have time for this. It's one thing Triclops is good at, it's killing things. But that sometimes, you too. If you don't vacate the premises, Master Ian will do terrible things to you. Oh god. Terrible, terrible things. Makes me shiver. The down, the down street key is needed to open this door. It's probably not street, but the down ST key. Down stairway key? What does ST mean? I haven't heard that. Oh crap. Oh hey, intruder alert! I didn't expect that. Don't go surprise me like that, man. Well, at least you don't have electric Pokemon, so it might be a good idea to have Suicune out. Go Triclops and Suicune! Shadowy Bomb. Um, side beam that. Let's just um, plug a lemonade. So the fight speaking camp just pay in. Ooh! Ah, oh, damn it! God damn it! Ow! Can't slap us with your tail hand. Oh, rain dance. Okay, make my war attacks more powerful. Oh wait, Sweetie so doesn't know surf yet, does it? I guess that's sort of no benefit either way, unless you actually know a war move. Yeah, Sweetie so learnt leer, not surf. Uh, I was like, oh, Sweetie's going to use you, surf, but no, it's still in shadow Pokemon form at the moment. But that isn't going to be the case. Right, um... Right, finish off the Farah. Yeah, finish off the Farah and then try to rush the Aethon for a bit of damage. I'm not going to have it the other way around because even a Shadow Rushing Sweeping probably does less damage than Espeon. Triclops. Psych up. What's this? Copies the target's effect to the user. I don't know what that does, so I'm not going to get it. It says effect, so I guess that means like stat boosts, maybe? It's interesting. Right, stop Shadow Rushing Espeon, please. You get Shadow Rushed yourself. You silly little monkey. Boom! <gasps> no! I'm in a critical hit, a critical hit. Ow, don't critical hit, Suicune. I told you not to critical. Well, we're in trouble. Play up a reflect. And try and capture that damn monkey. Before it kills itself. This is Ultra Ball. Territory. It's some tiny amount of health, so it'll be easy to capture. But we don't have any multipliers through paralysis or sleep. We'll give it a try, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No, he's gonna shadow rush himself to death. Next one for you, die too. Stop using Shadow Rush. It's gonna kill itself. It's not dead yet, okay. Espeon's probably gonna die. But. Kinda got bigger matters to attend to. Right. There's one thing we can do. Yes, but this weekend doesn't care. Um. We need to rely on Noctowl being fast and being able to hypnotise that thing to sleep so we can get a couple of turns to try and capture that thing on its tiny amount of health. Right. Hypnotise the Apon. Try and capture the Apon with Ultra Ball. It's a normal type so no other balls will be more effective than the Ultra Ball. 
except for time of all maybe, but I don't think it's been enough turns in the battle for that to be effective. Come on. Oh crap, no. Come on, hypnotize it. That thing's so bloody fast, it's killed itself. It's killed itself for being too fast. Okay, but it's dead. Oh, that's 2.1 we haven't caught. The crits have spoken. And that's going to happen from time to time. Oh, a cast form. You don't usually see those. We've got a water type cast form because of the weather. And now a fire type cast form because of the weather. Try to show off all your gimmicks there, cast form. Ha. Ah. We can some hide mode. It's a shame we're starting the Apon. I wasn't going to use Apon, and there'd be some Pokemon I'd much prefer it not to happen on. Why do they just keep changing the weather? They really just want to show off Cast Form, don't they? Look at my Cast Form, it keeps changing. Now it's a water type. Alright, it's called Speakoon. We'll try and kill that Remoraid with our fly. So, yeah, recap so far. There's been two Pokemon we haven't been able to capture. The first one because Espeon does too much damage. And the second one because Suicune decided to crit with Shadow Rush. Ow. A water weather ball, no. And now it's sunny. The Remoraid learns sunny day. That's very interesting. Alright, use Fly on the Cast Form. Use Shadow Rush on the Remoraid. Unless you're going to hyper mode. But the Remoraid isn't even doing anything, it's just showing off the fact it can change the weather all the time. It's raining now. Watch as it transforms into a water type. What are you going to do next? Cast Sunny Day? That's probably what you're going to do, isn't it? Uh... Let's kill the stupid bloody cast for me. Let's stop it now. It might kill Noctowl in this next hit. And it looks like that Shadow Rush didn't kill it even with a crit, so hopefully a fly will be able to finish off. Get a fly to bond. Damn it. Stupid watery thing. Your weather ball attack it varies depending on the weather. Ooh, one health, okay. Good thing Remember Raid just likes to use moves like Sunny Day and Rain. <laughs> Oh no, it's a fire type. Whatever shall we do? Well, heal up Pooters. <laughs> heal up our knockdown. Nah, not that desperate. I'll just use Eliminate now. Actually, let's just switch out knockdown. This is going to take another Weather Ball to the face. I'm just going to use a fire weather ball, then we may as well have our Entei. Just for the sake of it, it's not going to be very effective. And Suicune will just call you. There we go. Come on back, guys. And go lucky. Oh no, a fire weather ball. I'll fear this next weather ball though, because it's going to be a water weather ball. What the hell? It actually used an attack. It used a flamethrower. How does Remoraid know flamethrower? I didn't know Remoraid had these hidden capabilities of learning fire attacks. You learn something new every day. Good thing Lucky is a fire type and doesn't really care. 
Um, is, is there anything we want to kill first? It's probably the castle, because I think it does more damage. And then, also, Shadow Rush to Remoray, but Sukun. Yeah, that's why I did it that way around, because at least Lucky is going to kill something, whereas Suicune may go into hyper mode again. Goodbye, castle. At least we got to witness your gimmick many times. How do you feel, Remoray? How do you feel that you can no longer transform your little friend into water type now? You're gonna use a water attack, so we best stomp on you before you do that. Uncle Speaker. We've got our two legendary dogs out now. Looks pretty intimidating. You did it! Why am I the loser? Because you decided to transform your cast form into fire, water, fire, water, fire, water, about ten times. Oh god, we need to heal up already. I'm going to take a quick trip to the healing machine and then I'll be right back here.